Dear brothers and sisters, I want to warn you that the first part of this video is not for children or the faint of heart, and I want you to remember our Lord's command, fear not, for I am with you. Do you remember when Revelation 24 seemed hard to believe? And I saw the souls of them that were beheaded for the witness of Jesus and for the word of God, and which had not worshipped the beast, neither his image, neither had received his mark upon their foreheads or in their hands. And they lived and reigned with Christ a thousand years. Well, yesterday, as I was resting, I had a vision of a woman being beheaded. Right after my vision, this news was released. A woman was beheaded by her husband for testing positive. Then, all through the night, I dreamt of intense warfare all around from perhaps past, present, and future wars involving the countries Germany, Russia, and Georgia. While it may seem like these new stories involve battling with flesh and blood, we know that we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Here's the good news. I had a dream that a bridegroom's outfit was ready, indicating the bridegroom was ready for the wedding and he was coming, he is coming. The outfit was labeled with a monogram indicating the bridegroom's destination. As I looked at the bridegroom's outfit hanging nearby, I realized that although he wasn't yet wearing his outfit, his unseen presence was with me. His unseen presence is already with you. He is our protector and our guide and our helper. Praise Jesus. I then dreamed of a graduation ceremony at a church. James 1.12 says, Blessed is the man and woman who perseveres under trial, because when he or she has stood the test, he or she will receive the crown of life that God has promised to those who love him. Be truly glad, brothers and sisters, there is wonderful joy ahead. Soon our bridegroom is coming on the clouds, and soon every eye will see him. Praise Jesus. Amen.